Hi, my name is Alexander Smith, and I'm an application engineer here at Hawk Ridge Systems. Today, I'm going to show off six SOLIDWORKS sketching tips that could boost your productivity and make sketching a breeze. Let's get right into it with tip number one, which is to enable a setting that will automatically rotate our view when opening a sketch. You may have noticed that when you create the first sketch in a new part file, your view automatically rotates to be normal to the sketch plane, making it easier to create the 2D sketch. However, if we create an additional sketch or edit an existing sketch, the view does not automatically rotate. This is because by default, SOLIDWORKS will only auto-rotate our view when creating the very first sketch in a part file. To change this, we can select the options cog and on the system options tab under the sketch category, turn on the option to auto-rotate view normal to sketch plane on sketch creation and sketch edit. Now, our view will automatically rotate to be normal to the sketch plane every time we create a new sketch or edit an existing sketch. Next up, tip number two is another setting we will enable, this time for inputting dimensions. Most of the time when sketching in SOLIDWORKS, we want to create a fully defined sketch, which usually requires adding several dimensions manually. To speed up the sketching process, we can go into the system options under the sketch category and turn on enable on-screen numeric input on entity creation. Additionally, ensure the sub option beneath it is enabled. Otherwise, dimensions will be added to everything you sketch, even if you don't input a value. Now, when creating sketch entities, we're presented with a pop-up box allowing the input of desired dimensions. We simply type in the value and hit enter to create both the sketch entity and the associated dimension. If the sketch entity is aligned to capture any automatic sketch relations before pressing enter, they will be added as well. Additionally, if we sketch without inputting a value, the dimension will not be added because of the sub option we have enabled. Next up, tip number three is enabling shaded sketch contours. In SOLIDWORKS, most of the sketches we create are closed. To help us know whether or not a sketch is closed, we can turn on Shaded Sketch Contours, which will display the area of a closed sketch as shaded. Other than providing a useful visual aid and clarity when selecting contours, having shaded contours turned on lets us do some other things as well, such as dragging the shaded area around without deforming it, using the entire contour as input for tools like Mirror Entities, and we can right click on a sketch contour and select extruded boss base from the context toolbar to extrude it. Moving on to tip number four, using the trim to construction option. Most users are familiar with the trim tool, but may not be aware of the options that are available. One option is to keep trimmed entities as construction geometry. When turned on, any sketch entities that would be removed using the trim tool are instead replaced with construction geometry, allowing the user to keep the entities in the sketch while still achieving the desired trim. Next, tip number five is to use a lesser known feature called dynamic mirroring. I'll use my search bar to find and enable it, and then select the line I'd like to mirror across. And now, when creating sketch entities, they will automatically be mirrored across the selected center line. Finally, tip number six is changing sketch colors. When creating a part file with multiple visible sketches, it can be difficult to distinguish between each sketch in the graphics area. To help with this, if we right click on a sketch in the design tree, we can select sketch color to change the color of the sketch in the graphics area and set each sketch to be a different color, making it much easier to distinguish between them. In today's video, we covered six SOLIDWORKS sketching tips ranging from modifying options to utilizing underappreciated features. With these tips, you will now be able to efficiently and effectively create sketches in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.